Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Try Star Crawlers. We are in a mission on the Stellar Marine. We need to retrieve the command logs from the housekeeper. And we are working for Aurora Systems, I think. So far the area has been pretty much empty. No items to interact with. And we are taking the route to, through the security area, which had less enemies, according to the briefing. And we are, have entered the inner sanctum, apparently. That's probably good news. It could be bad news, though. <laughs> if there is a boss and a high-pitched keening wail from the array of monitors in front of us invaders in my clean room and the prototype can interact it thinks Yeah, it recognizes the prototype somewhat. We seek the command logs. We share them. And apparently he doesn't want to share them. Wait, uh, Strix. It's offering us a verbal rewrite of its code, I think. Some part of it must still be operating correctly. I can do this. Well, if you say so. Authorization granted. Can you tell us what happened? What happened to the ship? Inquiry mode is not active. Do not proceed with inquiries. Well, if you answer the question, we'll do a rewrite on your software. What happened here? And uh, that failed, so... Bad news. Check out the other room first, maybe, no. An enemy entered the room. Awesome! Another trash bot. And he is on fire. Gone. 
start working on the helper bots. Overheat affected, effective, and system shock and madness on this one. found a white item. Awesome! Another bolt. Great. Scramble and then we will Steve to apply burn, hopefully. Overheat applied, all right. Debuff supplied, overheat, madness, system shock, blind and burn. <laughs> Let's focus on the trash or the helper bots.
team are still in a good condition. Miss on the scramble. Miss on the drain, wow. Eight charges, does a lot of damage. Heal yourself and apply lots of debuffs. That was pretty impressive. Until you solve the puzzle, you will be facing these enemies. So. It's probably something you want to do fast, faster than I am doing right now. This one is nearly dead. So what I will do is I will pause, try to figure this out, and when figured out I will be back. Right, I continued clicking the lasers but I couldn't work it out and I think we are in a boss, boss fight right now, facing Brutus, a clean machine and Mr. Fixit Deluxe. Let's check those enemies out. This guy has medium armor, fire resistance, that is bad news. This will be a target for Sinistra. Well, he's also immune to taunt, confusion and charm, but not blindness and shock. Also, Light armor and energy resistant. And all these guys are immune to or increase resistance to charm, stun, and taunt. Chemical resistance, energy, and fire. This guy has a lot of armor, and I think the attack from Sinistra actually. Drains that. Fire resistance, so. Fire is overheat, alright. Can actually go for the core dump. One charge.
Lotus is on fire. But he did have a lot of fire resistance. It didn't help him though. This one is overheated. This one doesn't have any effects, but it is nearly dead. condition no status effects available for the enemies let's overheat fix it relax it's actually a heal bolt It. Right. Madness on this guy. Let's take out the heal bolt. Corrupted system shock. with madness miss on the grenade Shock and blind applied. And shock one applied. Very nice. And we found an item that gives us plus 5 accuracy. And what do you want from us? Do we need some cleaning? I'll do it. The prototype can interact. And we request the command logs. Will you provide them? Please let me go. What? I will not give you the logs. I'll delete them if you try to download. This guy wants to go. Where do you want to go? It will take a few moments. Then you can take the logs. This guy is maybe lying, we'll take the chance when we download the logs. And the file download is complete. And what do we do with this guy? We can allow him to transfer away. Teak. Apparently he wants to kill it, the prototype doesn't, 
Let's allow him to go away. I'm sure we meet again. Hmm. Not sure if that is good news. And let's contact Aurora. And Sinistra has something useful to say. <laughs> And we have the data for the housekeeping unit. We can look around a bit or we can get back. Not sure what we need to do looking around. So let's get just head back. level ups for Deke and Trix and Aurora Starliners is pleased you secured the command logs once they've analyzed them they will have other work for us that's very nice after your encounter with the rogue AI we're certain there's more going on board the Stellar Marine than just a vanishing crew and we earned some reputation with Aurora and lost some with Horizon and Workers United. So level ups available. Let's quickly check the job board. Uh, Doc Sam has some news for us. Got work back from Aurora already. They cracked into that log. I want to discuss it. Alright, we're ready. Please do note that our techs have already begun digging into the logs you recovered. I'd like to share the preliminary findings. Go on. The housekeeping unit was indeed dispatching orders to the drones on board, even after the incident occurred. Where the orders are issuing from and why the drones are following them, that we don't know yet. What's important now is deciphering the content of the orders. You have the orders, but you don't know what they say. That is correct. The orders themselves are heavily encrypted, and parts we decrypt don't make sense. Alright, mathematical formulas. They give no indication of what the actual order is. And furthermore, they are always dispatched in sets of three. We believe this is the key to unraveling them. So, what do you need me to do? Our technicians believe that the recipients of the orders process them and compare the results with other orders in the set to decipher the actual order. In effect, when each of the three orders is compared, they can be deciphered alone they are meaningless. When triangulated, they reveal the actual order. Simply put, we need to collect the memory cores of the recipients. All of them? No, not really. As I said, the orders are dispatched in sets of three, and as such, we have targeted the last three recipients for collection. Our technicians have already pinpointed the approximate location of the targets to a maintenance deck. Coincidentally, all of the orders are dispatched to drones within close physical proximity to each other. So great, now we need to find these drones and pull their cores. That is correct. So we can board the Stellar in again for Aurora Starliners. That's a level 7 job. We can actually already do it. And I don't think we used any of our med kits. So this stuff and this stuff. The other things we can keep. Although I doubt if these consumables are very useful. Well, let's just keep them for now. Let's 
not buy anything. Let's keep our money. We can also maybe upgrade some items. But we can only upgrade items from. Well, all right. Let's see. This has two upgrades. Permanently boost dodge. Combat initiative increased. It's pretty cheap. Chance on hit, apply confuse, so another debuff. And this epic pistol. Weapon damage increased. This is pretty expensive. On weapon crit, cost of next action is reduced. Stacks. Right, we have enough medkits, we don't need any money for that. Weapon damage increased again. And when dealing nanite damage, chance to reduce target nanite resistance 10%. It is very expensive. It's a pretty good weapon, I think. Right. For now, I'll make a cut here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.